بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ اینڈ ویورز ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ڈی ڈی لرنر پوائنٹ ان ٹوڈے ویڈیوز وی ار گوئنگ ٹو سالو دا ڈی ڈی پی اف سبجیکٹ کنیکشن اسٹیٹمنٹ انالیسز وچ ہیز سبجیکٹ کوڈ پن اس ٹو ون سو لیٹس سٹارٹ ریڈنگ ان دی بیک گراؤنڈ اینڈ اٹس ریلیٹڈ کیس اینڈ دین ریکوائرمنٹ دین فائنل وی ول گو ٹو دی سولوشن سو ایز پر ہیڈنگ جنرل ایکسپٹڈ فورٹین پرنسپلز سو بیک گراؤنڈ کیس بوتھ ار ریلیٹڈ ٹو دس گیپ So let's start uh, the background. General, generally accepted accounting principal gap is a collection of rules for how businesses and companies disclose their financial data. Actually, uh, general accepted uh, accounting principles are the guidelines or conventions that uh, tell the companies and businesses how they are going to disclose or represent their financial data, financial statement and their appended notes face several challenges such as the language used, the amount of data supplied in each statement and the classification of items in the statement. Fashion uh, statements uh, and their related notes uh, are uh, faces several kind of challenges in which one of is uh, language which is used, the amount of the data supplied in the statement. Every statement, as you know, there are four statements with notes. Uh, and their classifications in the statement. There are three components of GAP designed to ensure that accounting and financial reporting methods are not deceptive. Uh, the GAP has designed three elements in such a way that uh, which ensures the uh, accuracy of accounting and financial reporting methods. These, in, uh, these include accounting principles, uh, FAC, FASB rules and standards and generally accepted industry practices. Now we are discussing the three uh, components of the gap. One is accounting principle, the other is FASB uh, rules and standards and the finally generally accepted industry practices. These elements help in establishing uniform standards for financial reporting and accounting and giving investors the information they need to assess the company's financial health. So, Uh, following these three methods are elements of uh, of the <coughs> of this uh, which has to uh, investors to understand uh, the financial health of uh, any company or business uh, to uh, avoid any deception. In it means that the three components uh, help the business and companies to represent their uh, financial statements. free of uh, speculations and uh, any deceptions uh, regarding investors or stakeholders point of view. Account- accountants and uh, misrepresent mis- uh, mis- represent- an organization's financial situation if they do not follow GAAP. This is a situation where if uh, accountants and uh, fail to uh, follow the GAAP uh, methodology, so there is a chance Uh, content may represent the uh, financial statement in a misleading way. Now come to the case. ABC company has been in the business of manufacturing yarn. And the company ABC are engaged in the business which manufacture yarn. Five years ago, the company purchased machinery worth rupees 100 million with a residual value of rupees 10 million and used for life of 10 years. Uh, almost five years ago, the company has purchased a machinery which cost 100 million and it's Uh, the residual value of scrap value is 10 million and its useful life is 10 years. The company implement a straight line method for charting the appreciation for the first five years. The uh, for, uh, charging the appreciation, uh, which method the company is used is straight uh, line method for the first five years. Recently, a new CEO, Mr. Hamid, has been hired and he advised the founder to use a double declining method for charting the appreciation expense. Uh, currently, the company has appointed a new CEO named Mr. Ahmed and he directed the accountants uh, to use double declining method instead of straight line method for charging depreciation expense. Now come to the requirement. <coughs> you are advised to comment if the company adopts new depreciation method for reporting, then such case which accounting principle is violated and in order to justify the change which accounting principle is required to be followed. So, in such situations, uh, what the requirement is that 
as a student of national statement analysis you are going to comment if the company uh, adopted the new uh, double declining method for charging as a depreciation expense and in such scenario uh, the company violated which accounting principle of gap and uh, to justify his uh, decision regarding the changing in depreciation method which accounting principle of gap is to be followed so let's move to the solution solution is here uh, the counting principle as per gap is violated this principle of permanence of method which states that uh, any method that is adopted by uh, company in this case standard method is to be used on permanent basis but the decision of new ceo has changed change this uh, method so it is a violation of principle of permanence of method and uh, to justify their <coughs> This year, regarding the change in uh, depreciation method, the company uh, uses the principle of gap is known as principle of QD. Uh, I hope you will enjoy this solution. If someone has uh, query or disagreement regarding this solution, please come up with their opinion or suggestion in comment section. So we will discuss on it together to uh, reach a better. So thanks for watching. If you like my movie, please uh, share and press. bell icon button and hit the like button as well thanks for watching assalam alaikum